just like every other mail service, Gmail can offer you offers you um, the possibility of creating filters. Um, filters can be used either to discard um, unwanted email or um, to classify um, messages that you want to classify under specific labels or we can see more in detail. So you go to settings then filters. As you can see I, I'm using a lot of filters. Uh, it makes my everyday work much easier and more efficient. So from time to time for example I will receive spam uh, concerning, I don't know, Viagra or whatever. And whatever I do, every time I receive it, I have to um, put it in spam, report it or whatever. It, that takes a lot of time. So what I can do is create a filter. Let's go to the, to the end. Um, create a new filter. And I can use as criterion or criteria um, from, so the email address. Um, to subject that is the the subject and then you've got include the words uh, in in the message or doesn't have the words in the message has attachment or yeah don't include charts in the in the in the filter or the size should be less or greater than um, a certain amount of kilobytes megabytes etc so I will I will use, I will create this filter so every single email that contains the word Viagra in the message, not in the subject, um, what is going to happen to that mail? So um, I will say, okay, never spend it, send it to spam and delete it directly. So, um, so it can response, always blah blah blah. So I think it's OK, create filter. So now I can, I will send an email to myself, subject whatever, and in the message I've got the word Viagra, whatever. So send. You have sent a message in a binned conversation you can see that it doesn't go to my inbox and doesn't go to the spam folder so it's go directly to bin so you don't have to manually uh, delete it yourself another reason why you should use filters is in case you work you use the same um, address for work so if you want to be sure that you're not going to miss a message from a certain person you can do something like this. So, new filter. So every time this person sends me an email, um, I will say apply the label so never send it to spam so I'm sure it's not going to the spam folder and then uh, apply the label you can see the other video of mine on how to use labels um, let's say people or work or whatever whichever label you want apply the label blah 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 maybe always mark it as important if you like and uh, I think that's all for me now. Okay, create filter. And I've got my filter. So now I'm going to send the email from my other address. Okay, whatever, whatever. Send the email. 
and you can see here it will arrive in a few seconds so there you go I've got the email here um, it received the label on uh, people immediately and it didn't go into the spam I could have used um, come on filters edit I could have used this function skip the inbox So it's going to be archived directly in the appropriate um, under the appropriate tag or label, and it's not going to appear uh, here. So you can um, again you can um, create filters in order to um, get rid of unwanted email, or you can use them to um, classify your your email and other specific tags and folders or whatever.